as a chair of education in the Council of Governors, I allowed the government initiative to have fees paid at the e-citizen. Uh, however, we just call for proper structures, proper information. Because right now, schools, children have reported to school, uh, learning is ongoing, and then when we are half the time or somewhere in the time, we wake up in the morning and tell people that you are supposed to do payment e-citizen. In as much as a good idea, but we ask the ministry to be a bit more organized so that they are not reactive and be able to provide information early enough so that our people will not be in doubt as to whether is there a fraud or is there something that is sinister behind it. But I, but I think I want to sincerely thank the ministry because that's also a bold initiative as we move ahead to upload all our details to e-citizen, payments to government for the on e-citizen is a, a good move. Uh, secondly, there has been an ongoing row between uh, TSC and, uh, and the ministry as to whether uh, some of the TSC rules should be carved out to the Ministry of Education. Like I said as the Chairman of Education, what the Presidential Working Party report did was to mutilate the constitution of this country. They gave out proposals that uh, ECD function should be taken by the national government and be paid by the national government when they forgot that the national government has never invested even a single penny to our ECD facilities. It has been the sacrifice of the county government because, like I said earlier, that the program was the ECD devolved was never costed and resources, attendant resources never followed the function. And so employment of teachers, building of infrastructure has been a workout in the county government. Just for clarification, in the shareable revenue formula, agriculture has a percentage water has a percentage, and all other devolved functions. But ECD has no single percentage in the shareable revenue formula that indicate that it's not been captured. Now, they did not just stop at there. They are now asking us to go back retrogressively to the age where the Ministry of Education was the alpha and omega and could decide on teacher management, teacher training, teacher promotion, teacher appraisal. TSC constitutional, and the people of Kenya thought right in the 2010 constitution by making TSC an independent body. So I loved when the, there were suggestions that ECD should be given to the national government. Today, the interns of national government are earning 17,000 Kenya shillings. A degree in turn is earning 17, 15,000, or 12,000 shillings. My ECD teacher in Kericho with a certificate is earning 25,000 shillings. Just a certificate. My degree teacher is earning 40,000 in ECD. So I, I'm surprised that how then will, 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 will these teachers be, will be paid very well when they haven't been defeated to, to terms. And that is why when Nat speaks unthinkingly that this is a program that has defeated county government, I ask Nat to go back to their role which is actually agitating for teachers that have been employed. Because as it is now, they are even defeated in agitating for the interns, uh, interns teachers that have been given to them by the ministry. And they are suffering a lot. And they want to poke holes in what doesn't belong to them. We have a union called Kunobet that perhaps we could be negotiating on, with them, but not NAD, because NAD have already too many things at their hand uh, that they need to have.